Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of how we can import the schedule with other language. For example, we don't have in our system and in our application the language. Some person you have shared with you the XR file or XML file, how we can import the schedule. There is a different scenarios that if you are import the schedule with the different language, the language will not show and Primavera might be show the question mark or any other symbol over there. So I will tell you how we can import the schedule in our database and how we can change the language for that. Because this tutorial is uh, you can say important also as well. For example, you have received the schedule uh, in Arabic, in Urdu, in any language, then how you can convert into the English and your own language or native language that you understand because somebody or some persons, professionals are not understand languages, Arabic and etc. very easily. So I will show you how, can, how we can do it. First of all, the method I am showing, the method is there. If you are not succeed to do with this method, then that is impossible to do the schedule again with your language. So the method, for example, first of all, you will say the person who is sending you to send in your language. If he is not sending or might be you're importing a other schedule from any of the source, you get it. Now you want to convert into the your language. So here I have the schedule for in Arabic language I have prepared and now we can do it. First of all, I will show you how it shows over there. Open your Primavera P6. Now I will import the schedule in our database. Import the schedule. I have the XR file. Then I will go to the desktop. In the on the desktop, you can see this schedule is there. Okay, next. And I will create a new project import to give it the enterprise. Enterprise is okay. If you want to select the calendar from there, you can select it. Okay. Now you can see here that language. If you see the schedule was in Arabic language, but here you cannot see the language and also the activities. If you see here, the activities here, the activities are there. I will just open the layout. No. Okay. Apply and open. Now you can see here the language is different with that schedule. You, we are not understanding only the activity IDs are in the English, then that is visible. Other than this, the activity IDs, no nothing, no activity description or name is showing even either the WBS. So how we can resolve the matter? Now, I will go there and simply just minimize that and go to the system setting and search the language setting. Language setting in the language setting. If you have the language, if you want to type the language, then add the language from here. If you don't want to type the language, then directly go to the administrative languages. Administrative languages here you can see the current lang language from the non Unicode programs, English United States. I will change that. I will go the system password because I am using another. So here you can see, I will just say. The schedule is in Arabic and Saudi Arabia. So I will search for the Arabic and Saudi Arabia. Here is the Arabic Saudi Arabia. Some languages Primavera is taking because the Primavera languages I will show you which languages might the Primavera support only the languages. Okay. And I will do it later. But you can see here it is not changed yet. I will check it. If we need to restart again, then we can restart immediately. And come back so you have to restart your system okay Arabic now you can see here Arabic Saudi Arabia is there so it is necessary to change to restart your system if you see here in the Primavera when you are opening that here in advance you can see here the languages are you are you are showing watching the languages here there are different languages most probably Primavera support only the languages in the system as well either you will change over there so Try to get in these these languages are for the Primavera system or software languages. For example, you will change into the Arabic, then these will be 
as a rabbit so here all induction instruction will be changed into the rabbit other than this for the schedule if you are preparing you can you have right to write in english urdu whatever but the next person should have the language as well. we have to restart our system. so here in primavera i have restarted the system and i what i will do i will just go to the project and in the project tab i will just delete the projects which i have imported twice or three time i will just delete the projects from the database i have deleted now these projects has been deleted so now i will go again and go to the import option and i will import the same xer file from the desktop whichever i have the file okay open next and give the the enterprise next next and finish now you can see here the schedule has been imported into the arabic language which is the language of the schedule now you can see here each and everything is there if i go to the so now you can see the language is there so how we can now change the language of the schedule for example if you want to change for the project or wbs languages so you have to go to the wbs language and one by one you have to copy from here and paste into the google and for up to the wbs level or later on whenever we will upload the schedule that how we will you will import this uh, wbs from the excel so that you can do it but the easy and the correct way is that you have to write down one by one from here so for the activities what i will do i will just say here export file to the excel and i will give the location to the activities for example i will say pp6 6 file 01 okay save the file okay so here is our file now you can see the file is there what i will do i will just copy from there and put these documents to the another these activities to another excel file open file you can do it by this file but we have to create a new file i will just open the and paste there here is our file i will just save the file as well just save it save the file on the desktop browse on the desktop okay and then i will just say file now I am changing the Arabic to just do it by this way and now I will open to the English how we can change it I will go here in the documents and I will browse the file from here and from the desktop desktop this file is temporary file I will just upload the file into the detect language and I want in the English English okay translate now this is our file i have taken from the downloads just you can see here all the activities are that has been changed like this one the activities has been changed but this one is i think so uh, there is a error for the translation just say like this for the some activities whatever you have to do so now here i will just take the enable editing and i will say here the okay and paste the values over there so now it is done so here just say for example the was this okay milestone okay now save the file save the file close and might be this one also close i will go there into the and i will import the file xls sheet to here file import xls next and I will go there on the desktop in the desktop you can see here which file was there pp6 file 01 open the file next and update the existing project import to this one next and I will say activities next finish now you can see easily the file has been converted to the English this is the way how you can do it so now you have to do for the project and for the WBS one by one, 
by the google translate or whatever translation software you are using for the you can do it secondly if the issue is still same for example by this way also it is not you are not succeed so you have to add a new project here for example i have to add new project here okay and say just new project okay and finish the project i have created here you can see finally i will just open the project or just simply export the project from here file and export to the version okay next and i will give the location as the desktop save finish so this project has been now open exported sorry i will open the project with the notepad okay and then i will open the project which i have there so i will open with the project as well with the notepad what i will do i will just copy copy the project and control c or just save from here copy go there and up to here you have to just remove the values up to the end and then paste the values over there which you have taken from the other project if you are not succeed by that way so you will do and i will remove the very first row because it is the same where is first row and i will do i will, what i will do i will save the project save it close the and now i will go and import the project as well into the project tab file and just go to the import and import xr project and now i will just import the project whatever my project was there so i will do by the same way importing next and finish so now you can see the project is the second project because it's now this project is our first project this project we have now just imported by the way it is automatically changed by this way sorry the other project this project i think so open project you can see the project has been imported again in our database these are the two different ways if you are not succeed with this way then you have to change from the your system where you prepared the schedule in any other language might be primavera will not support the all languages from there it will support only the languages which are mentioning over there here in the advance what languages are there to import the language and show the language because arabic is there that's why it's it's supporting for example if you are doing by the urdu you might be you can write here in your system where you are preparing you can write the urdu language over there or any other language but it will be not surety that that language other primavera database will be accept the so you have to while importing or exporting just change your if you are sharing with any anybody who did not understand your language so is better that you have to just export the your schedule go to the google translate and convert into the language whatever you are required so hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz